So today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, here is me filling the log basket and I'm going to head on over and light the boiler. So we run on biomass on the farm. So basically it is a giant wood burner and this here is exactly what we put in it. So we process all of this wood ourselves. Um, I'd love to tell you it's romantic and lovely, but actually to be fair, it's a pain in the bottom. So I'm going to do something a little bit different today. Um, I'm going to video everything that I'm doing and I'm going to talk over it at the end and then post it for you with no music on. A couple of people have been saying the music is not really adding, um, which is interesting. And I do take that on board. But like for me, I love the music. Like that's part of the fun for me. I enjoy the music. Um, so I don't really know, but I'll try it. I'll try it. See what you think. Like, see what you think. So I'm just going to video everything I'm doing with no talking bits of me chatting tight. Um, and then later on today, after tea time, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to do a voiceover over the whole of it, save it and post it. So it's basically going to be videos of me and then me explaining what I'm doing. Um, someone suggested it and I just thought, you know what? It's middle of Christmas and New Year. There's very little going on, if I'm perfectly honest. And I am actually didn't really want to put a video out. Um, just because I, don't, I just don't want to post rubbish. Um, I prefer to have something to talk about. And we're chopping wood. I'm lighting the boiler, for God's sake. It's not that interesting. But I thought I'd just give this style a go today. Well, I've got nothing on. And then see if you like it. So, this didn't happen. I'm not talking to you on the camera. I'm not here. Um, ignore me um, and enjoy the video. <laughs> oh, and don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Um, honestly, if you could subscribe, that'd be amazing. I hate to sound really generic here, but I was looking at the stats last night and 51% of people that watch videos are not subscribed, which I find really interesting. Um, so please click the subscribe button. As Wardy says, Joe Seals and Ollie, they've all said it. It costs you nothing. And it does cost you nothing other than your sanity for having me pop up on your phone at regular intervals. Um, this is the boiler. Oh, this just came in the post. It's a running belt for me to put my phone in. I got quite excited about this. Um, I actually lost it later on in the day after I shoved it in my pocket and forgot to take it out. Anyway, this is our Ariturn 60 Plus boiler. Um, it's brilliant. Uh, it basically is just a big wood burner with a kind of um, hollow honeycomb kind of pattern uh, mesh of you know metal in the back of it anyway the water runs through it the heat runs through the middle of those heats the water goes into the house well it heats those buffer tanks and then um, some coils run through the middle of the buffer tanks they heat up with the heat of the water that goes into the house does the same in there and that's how the water is heated and um, it is pretty much to be honest as simple as it looks uh, these weren't simple to chop by the way they were an absolute pain in the ass um i was actually giving it some as well but yeah um we do this every day if we don't do this there is no heating which is honestly a bit of a pain in the ass because you know when you've got a really busy day on you just can't be bothered um going across chopping the wood lighting the boiler etc etc um i did try lighting it from the top that didn't work so i lit it from the bottom it was grand and away it went you're looking for this coming out of the um chimney so you want this to be clear, ideally. If it's a little bit dirty looking, it means it, the wood's slightly contaminated. I took a picture of this just with wishful thinking that the shed might one day have a pot of gold and make us some money. We then came to Roy's dad's house and here we had to scrape up all the silage. Here we just push the silage up, tip barley on top of it and bruise grain. I'll shove these cows through. I'm going to give them a muck out. Um, they are, there's only, I think there's five of them in, that is about it. There is a cow and a load of heifers. They, this is the barley that we've crushed. I'm just bucketing it up, ready to carry it across the yard. And um, we don't actually use these mineral licks anymore. Um, they, they were all right, actually. Um, didn't last as long as I thought they would. And, but they do have handles, which is ever so handy, if I'm honest. So here's me just strawing out. Um, as you can see, that is the amount of stock that there is in the shed, which is grand. Awkward time between Christmas and New Year where nobody knows what day it is, no one knows what they're meant to be doing other than eating leftover mince pies and lots of chocolate. Me, I am the worst. I really need to go bunny. So I have found myself a bike, a second hand bike off Facebook Marketplace. Um, so I'll take you with me when I go and get that. Um, I've been looking at all the random other things I need to learn how to ride a bike, which could be interesting. 
but I thought I'd just put in here because I haven't used it already. Um, the other day, me and Roy went to meet Nigel from Ridgeline at Cannon Hall Farm. So I'm going to put that in here. So Emma Joy. So I'll just do a very quickly what you're having for your tea. Hold on. I've got to get my sleeves. It's hot. Oh. Oh. That is our own big hammy joint um, with honey and mustard and onions and apples and sprouts reduced from co-op um because obviously everyone's trying to get rid of christmas stuff and onions from the garden good tea so me and roy have just come on a little afternoon excursion to cannon hall found to meet nigel from ridgeline um good friend of ours loving to pieces and um, we just stopped in the middle of the road waiting for someone to move some stock i don't know what type of stock it is i'm thinking it might be sheep only because he looks shepherdy bloody farmers holding the road up The car behind me is going to think I'm a proper tourist. <sighs> well, he's just saying we've just seen the roundhouse at Cannon Hall from down the road. Um, we're pulling in now and we always wanted a roundhouse when we were farming beef before the whole dairy thing came about that was what Roy had in his head that he wanted to farm beef with a roundhouse so I'm gonna get some decent views of it when I can get near it if I can I don't know if you can I've never been before I don't know if you're allowed I don't even know if you're allowed to video stuff roundhouse for the win like this is so cool where have you brought me now oh, I don't... <sighs> Roy's going looking at reptiles this is really freaky. Yeah. All the tiniest mices you've ever seen in your life. Look how small they are. They're like the size of my finger. <laughs> I would not be squashing those if I saw them. Why not show me guinea wigs? And then put this next to them. Look at this dinosaur. I can't imagine struggling to eat food that much. Go on, get it in, lad. I know it's for children. I know it's for children. But even cope. Oh, guys. I feel bad. Tiny piggy's not getting in. Never seen anything cuter in your life. Look at this. See Roy spotted a business opportunity here. There seems to be something missing in this pen. Oh, Nigel's running away. I want to go in rare breeds. Come for is the bacon butty in the restaurant, and then there's me wanting to go and pet all the animals. Oh, guys. Charlotte. Yeah. Did you get that song? No. Goats on climbing frames is my new favourite thing. Cannon Hall Farm is really cool. Fighting because if they're fighting, it's a really cute way to fight. Oh, he's biting him. Oh, stop it. That's really naughty. Got like a no 
touching policy throughout like the farm all together so this is how they feed stuff you drop it in here and you turn it and it turns an auger drops it down there and into these little things here you wouldn't think he used to be in the army like seriously it's cold it's cold i'm not cold it's only my heart that's cold <laughs> It's one in a hundred thousand and they get 300,000 visitors. So they were getting three cases of E. coli in children a year for serious, serious life-threatening E. coli as in like, through no fault of their own, kids putting the fingers in the mouth and whatnot. So they've made it that you don't touch the animals at all, which, nah. I'm sure they might let us call the piglet though. <laughs> Advertisement. <laughs> it's so happy. Farming Community Network here for you. If you want to have a read of this, please pause. So, tea was lovely. Thank you so much for watching. I'll leave it there and I'll see you next time.